Hello everybody. In this video, we are talking about the background subtraction. I need. Okay, okay, this. Can find that is okay. We're talking about the uh, background subtraction. So uh, why we are using or how we why we are needed for it? Uh, how can the benefit from it in the applications or how can we use it in the tracking, in the image processing, and in the uh, video processing? As the name suggests, uh, background subtraction is a process of splitting out. We can isolating or we can separating the uh, foreground big charts or frame from the background uh, big charts or frame. If we have we have series or sequence of video frames, so we're gonna uh, look to this big charts. In this big charts, you can find the left. In the left, we have this picture. I'm moving it. You can find that we have the background image and the. Uh, excuse me, my my indicators for the lab is very. No, it's very bad. I see that. We have the second image from the from the the under this word the frames. We have the foreground and the pictures under the word the video is the background. Then the third image from the left. We are. Uh, using uh, something or some medians of filter or some filters to the first to are needed to convert the RGB color to the black and white uh, so that uh, we can applying any three shot that isolate the moving the moving uh, object or and uh, keep out the standing or the background so how we can know or we can apply the threshold that uh, if you have if you have uh, you can look into the uh, uh, bucket charts one two three four five in this five and in this six in this six pictures how he can isolate it or how we can identify uh, the background or and the sub uh, back and the foreground by three shoulding you have value if you are increasing the shield you can give the back chart is is one and uh, otherwise you can take zero look in the background subtraction is a widely used for abduction moving object from setting camera if i have static camera i can isolating the background uh, from the static ground in each frame, you can find that I have a small bounding box is uh, overing or is uh, is indicate that someone is moving in all frames in these frames and in these frames and the other frame number one, number two, number three, number five, and number six. Number seven, I need, I need, I need. Then the fundamental logic for detection, object moving object from the, from the difference between the current frame and the reference frame. It's important algorithm or someone, how we can find the moving object or how he can know that this object is moving how can isolating this object from the background what is the difference uh, think with me 
that if I have one frame, one frame such as such like this frame, you can see that you are uh, it's a green, green, and it's a home, and it's a home. Just with me, please. Okay, okay, thank you, thank you, alhamdulillah. You can see that you have, in this a home, a home, a home, a home. You can see that it's small car, small car. Then uh, the background modeling contain the static or the background and the moving. Okay. If, I, if I'm giving for you picture without this moving box, or this moving car please be attention with me such like this there is no find moving box if I have take the difference from this pictures and subtract from this you can find that we have all these pixels which can make uh, 250 and this big chart plus or minus 250 it, it's the result will be zero but in this big charts I have value see 115 when I'm tracking from this there is no value there is no value then the difference between this frame and this frame is the result. It's the result. So, the fundamental logic for detecting any moving object, how can you calculate the difference between the current frame and the reference frames? And thus, we have something called background image. So, frame difference method is the traditional and the first, med, m, the first method for detecting that. Okay. We have these pictures and these pictures. You can take one minute to tell me what is the difference someone called me at traffic and we are needed to to counting the vehicles or the cars tracking the moving object okay you can converting this in the MATLAB or your algorithm for doing that how you can isolating the object for the subtract every cars from this you can find that it take a big value for the pixels and this and this and this and this when you are converting this picture bigger charts to gray and to uh, from rgb to black or binary you are doing one on zero you are doing one on zero human action recognition in, in, in any object we are applying for this now you can think that for human actions you can uh, for everything but I needing this to identify or count how can a numbers of the currencies what is the methods or what is the algorithm for applying that that we have cars then we are, we are, we are converting cases pictures from the background to the binary one and applying the threshold okay for simple approach we have image at time 1 i pixels at x and y and t and the background we are talking the this image and the last image is new cars actually or 
intuitive that if you have the difference from this and from them is called the cards only the cards only then the following steps for making the background structure for this method I have estimating the background subtraction subtracting the estimating background from the input frame applying the why can I am um, applying uh, for uh, applying the threshold to find this object to find the moving object the moving object has a, has a value is greater than the object or, or the pixels for the static object again I have these pixels have a big value and there is no pixels if this is greater more than this you can apply the threshold and if I this this pixels I've subtracted from this pixel I can't find the result I can't find the result so so the basic method for that I'm can using the frame difference which are the difference from the previous or the current previous is subtracted from the last by one only by one only estimated background just the previous frame it evidently work only in particular condition of the object is with as a frame rate. very sensitivity to threshold very sensitivity for she how or what I mean by threshold if I'm you if I'm using the threshold equal to 25 when you are using 25 you can find that uh, there is some pixels is, uh, or each pixels is greater than 25 and can find many and many and many then you can find how many pixels is greater for is greater than 50 more than this and more than this. so greater than 20 to 200 you can let it that you have many pixels of value such as this I think you can notice that this car is this it's a big value it's a big value in the in the subtraction so uh, the, this traditional method have this problem so we are uh, talking with uh, another example in the in the uh, he next charts and the goodbye and uh, uh, enjoying your day